Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the Musée des Hommes in Liège, uh, taking a look at one of the really interesting engraved shotguns that they have. Now, I don't normally cover this sort of thing, this isn't normally my interest, but this one's interesting, and this is a, a very different style of decoration to this shotgun than a lot of the others that I've seen. So. This is a Browning B25. Um, this is the, the over and under superposed shotgun that was designed mostly by John Browning before his death, uh, and then completed, brought to completion by FN in Herstal in Liège. And this particular one uh, was manufactured in 1936, and it was used in 1939 at the inauguration of the Albert Canal. This is a big important canal that connects the city of Liège to the city of Antwerp. So a lot of commerce, a lot of traffic, it was an important big thing for them. And to commemorate the opening of this canal, Liège hosted an industrial uh, exposition that they called the Exposition of Water. And it was about all things technical relating to water, like, you know, a big canal to Antwerp. So uh, quite large exhibition, they had something like 2,500 exhibitors in 50 different pavilions. The exhibition only lasted three months because war were declared, which, oops, kind of got in the way of things. But one of the guns that FN was, dis uh, was showing, uh, displaying, was this one, which is designed to evoke water. And it's got this really cool Art Deco style to it. Let me show you up close. So right off the bat, where most guns will have fine checkering at the, the grip, instead this one has waves which I think is just a kind of a really interesting, clever, and artistically appealing design choice. Um, and it does actually give you a nice grip on the gun as well. So that's uh, to follow the, the water theme. We have waves here, and we have waves as well carved into the wood uh, on the forend. The entirety of the metal is all in the white and highly polished, looks fantastic. And then the side plates are engraved with birds, as you might expect for a sporting shotgun like this. Uh, ducks, pheasant, and peacocks. And the engraving on the bottom is really quite elaborate. So you have a nice open section, and very reflective section there, on the side plate. And I like the, the juxtaposition of very fine detailed engraving and simple plain open areas. I think that works nicely. And elements like the lines here and the geometric shapes on the bottom are very much Art Deco inspired. This was this is from the, the late 1930s. This is when Art Deco was was really a thing. And to my mind, this really effectively evokes um, sort of that, that that golden age sort of between the two world wars. Even smaller elements like the shaping of the, the opening lever and the safety lever. Just it has that sort of Art Deco style to it. That's pretty cool and unusual. You don't normally see Art Deco decorated guns. Normally you have sort of the, the traditional typical oak leaves, acorns, floral scroll work. This is much more interesting. That wave pattern even continues just a little bit, a little subtly here in uh, the, the wooden butt plate of the gun. We have a little bit of texturing there. Not checkering, but again waves. It is worth pointing out that the engraving on this gun was done by a guy named Felix Funken, who was at the time a master engraver for FN, and he would go on in 1956 to be the guy who opened and ran FN's custom shop. So this is a very early piece of, of work from a man who would take on a much more significant role uh, for this sort of gun with FN in the future. So this is one of the many uh, firearms that the Liège Arms Museum has on display in its civilian and sporting section. They have three major sections to the museum. One is on kind of early stuff, arms and armor. One is on civilian and sporting firearms, including a lot of interesting uh, technological landmarks and achievements. Uh, and then they have an entire floor that is military firearms. So. Uh, the museum is undergoing final construction right now. Uh, hopefully by the time you see this, they will be open completely to the public. I have a link to the museum down in the website below, down in the description below. 
Uh, if you find yourself in Belgium or in Liège, definitely uh, take a few hours and stop in and visit the museum. Thanks for watching.